In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a setup where whenever a user registers to your website, no matter how they register, they will automatically be enrolled into a specific course. I've seen this question pop up a few times in the Lifter LMS space, so I thought I'd make a video on it. For this tutorial, we're going to need a few plugins. First is, of course, the Lifter LMS free core plugin, and the second is going to be Automator WP. Automator WP allows you to create some automations within WordPress and the core plugin is free so you can go ahead and pick that up on the WordPress repository there. I'm going to install this one right here. And then we're also going to need the Automator WP Lifter LMS integration. Uh, so let me actually search that one up too here. Automator WP Lifter LMS. And there we go. The Automator WP Lifter LMS integration is also free here. I'm going to go ahead and install that and then go activate my two plugins here. All right, so once those activate, I should have right here on the side Automator WP, and this is where I can set up some automations. And if I click on Automator WP right here, I'm going to go ahead and head to New Automation, and you can create all sorts of automations, but I'm just going to focus on whenever a user registers to the website, I want to enroll them in a specific course or membership you could do. So I'm going to say auto enroll trigger. I'll just call this um, whatever you need to write in here to note to you. That makes sense. Then what I want to do is there's all sorts of things you could do, like sequential triggers where you have to complete multiple items and then a specific action happens. But for this tutorial, I'm keeping it simple. I'm just going to add a WordPress trigger and that would be user registered to the site right here at the top. And you can look through all these. You could say whenever a user views a post, uh, do this. There's all sorts of logic you can create for really advanced setups, but I want to say when a user registers to my website, I want to do a lifter LMS action, and this is from that integration I installed. We want to say enroll user in a course right there, um, and I could enroll them in all the courses if I wanted to, but I'm going to click this little drop down and say you get the assignments masterclass. Go ahead and save that one. So now if I go ahead and save and activate over here, uh, whenever a user registers to my website, they're automatically going to be enrolled into my assignments masterclass. Let me go quick set up a, well, you know what, actually I could just go through the access plan system. I was considering setting up a, um, a registration page, but let me just go ahead and buy this um, course right here, this free enrollment quiz system masterclass course. And uh, I should also get the assignment since I'm registering to the website. Just go ahead and fill this form out real quick. And then that should be good. Go ahead and enroll me now. I don't need to save my password. All right, there we go. So you can see I have two enrollment success messages. And if I head over to my dashboard here, my student dashboard area, you can see I have both the quiz system masterclass and also the assignments masterclass. Even though I only purchased the quiz system masterclass course, I have that trigger set up to auto enroll me into the assignments masterclass. So that's a simple way you can set up a registration trigger to enroll somebody in a course when they register to your website. And of course you could just use the general registration form if you wanted to. Um, this setup might be useful if you have like a how to use my website course, like a free mini course that's how to use the website, but you don't want people just signing up for that course if they're not um, purchasing other courses on your website. So this might be a way to have like a free how to use the website. Maybe you have like the Buddy Boss theme and you're using a really advanced setup and you have to have a little bit of a maybe a three lesson explanatory course. This is a terrific way to set that up or you can really create whatever setups you want to. And uh, like I said before, the automations in Automator WP can do a whole lot. And I'm working with the free tools here, but they do have some paid add-ons that add even more triggers and more things you can do. If you're familiar with Zapier, this is gonna be a pretty familiar interface where you can set up your automations and uh, you can track everything in the logs and have all sorts of triggers and things going around inside of WordPress. But yeah, this has been Will Middleton from WPCourseGuide.com. Thanks for joining me in this video and I'll see you in the next one.